Morning all and welcome back once again to I Like Old Watches 2. I don't tend to post too much content on this channel, but when I do, I really enjoy it because I can just sort of relax. You know, I'm not too uptight about this channel. It's a bit of a backup channel for sort of more relaxed content. And I've got a really quick one for you today. You may remember a little while ago I reviewed the incredible Forteller Cambrian dive watch, which cost at the time 219 US dollars. In fact, that watch that I received from Sven featured in a few videos. It was one of my um, all time favorite sort of best value for money micro brand divers. And they sold out pretty quickly, understandably. Um, the specifications were remarkable, 219 US dollars, unbelievable. Anyway, Sven reached out to me a little while ago and said, I'm making another watch and I'd like you to design a dial. Awesome. And only the other day, Sven sent me some pictures of the new design. It's in production, but there is space for another dial design or another dial color option. So Sven asked me to pick one. So we had a little chat on Instagram and we came up with a couple of designs. You know me, I love my white dialed watches with black accents and the channel color is sort of orange. I like black, white and orange. I think they go well. Um, together as well. So I sort of designed a couple of watches. The watch design is, you know, already there. You know, I can't change the design of the watch. I can just pick some colours. And um, these are the two options that I've come up with. And I'd like you guys um, to pick one of these to go into production. Sven likes them both. He's happy with either of these. The white dialed version has a fully loomed dial. That's pretty cool. I like fully loomed dial watches. Um, they're just a bit more fun, a bit more playful, adds a different dynamic to the watch. And we did try that watch with black hands without any loom because quite often um, loom on hands seems to clash with fully loomed dials, um, but it just didn't work. Um, yeah, neither of us actually liked the renders that came out for that watch. So we've just gone with these two. And um, guys, let me know which one do you like? Um, let me know in the comments section. And um, yeah, in the next 24 hours or so, I'll add up the comments and um, feedback to Sven. And uh, basically, you guys are going to decide which of these watches is going to go into full production. Awesome. Right, guys, um, that's it for today. Enjoy the rest of your day.